Hello and welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition for Scenario 3 of the Kotyan Khan campaign, Saving the Huts. Although many of us have given up hope, Khan Kotyan still believed in our survival. The messengers that he had sent west returned with good news. Even though we did not expect much grace from the Europeans that we raided for so many centuries, King Bela IV of Hungary offered our people asylum in his country. For the first time in months, our people rejoiced. However, before we leave for Hungary, we must first save our kinsmen trapped by Mongol and Tatar raiders in nearby Wallachia. The situation is dire, but news reached us that a fellow Khan named Gurgen is fighting off the enemy raids, trying to rescue our people. If we can reach him in time and rally the remaining tribes, we might have a chance of saving what is left of the free humans. Okay, the premise of this one sounds kind of fabricated to me, but maybe it is based in history somehow or another. Uh, here are the hints if you want to give them a read. Basically says that I think we should be able to hold off the initial attack from the Tatars, but at some point, similar to the previous scenario, we're going to find ourselves getting potentially invaded by a Mongol horde, and uh, we're better off just not fighting them, just going for the objectives instead. And here is the scout report if you would like to pause the video and give that a read. Otherwise, let's just get into it. Okay, here we go again. Many of our tribesmen live here. Gurgen Khan is their leader and he will be able to aid us. Human scum! Your brothers, let us cut their throats! Right, let's take these out as quickly as possible. We're hopefully losing as few Kipchaks as possible. And uh, we'll go look for the man, Gurgen Khan. Who is... about halfway across the map. We'll head in that direction. Uh, apparently this is the quickest path. Doesn't really feel like it. Going right along the tree line there. Somebody help me! Dada raiders are pillaging my yard! Oh, he might die. I don't think we get anything for helping that guy, so we're just gonna carry on and ignore him. No, I don't think we get much for helping these either. I'm actually gonna just Well I use my kip checks, but I'm not willing to risk my light cav. I want to keep everyone nice and healthy. Godian, you could not have come at a better time. Follow me and I will take you to our leader. Human horseman, follow me. I think he might have died, whoever said that, because uh, there's no one to follow here. Oh no, he's here. I didn't see him. Okay, here we are. I am glad to see a familiar face in such dire times. For days we were able to repel the enemy attacks, but we are running low on supplies and men. It is only a matter of time before the Tatars break through our defenses. Ride to the village to the north and reorganize our troops there. You are our last hope, Kotyan. Okay, and here is the village to the north, which we are about to take over. And, uh... Interestingly, there's a second hero unit here, the Cuman Chief. But I don't think it actually does anything, I think it's just a... a thing. This is it. We have nowhere else to go. We will make our last stand in this valley. Okay, so priority here is to put up a castle, as is so often the case... So often the case against the AI. Uh, we do want to... Get a castle up as quickly as possible. The problem is, we don't have access to stone. There is no stone here. So we're stuck with what we have. And we're gonna have to buy everything through the market, which is really not ideal. But it's what we have to do. And even though the Cumans do have the ability to build a second town center in the Feudal Age, I don't think I want to do that here. I think I just want to focus on building a force that we can actually use to defend the town, as uh, this is really not ideal. We're harvesting from too many sheep here, but never mind. It's not too much of a big deal. Um, so, we're going to need to spend a lot of gold, which presumably means we should be sending a lot of villages over to the mining camp and 
Also want to get to the castle age so that we can actually produce some de decent units because these are not very good. I will get bloodlines nice and early because if we get attacked, these are the only units we have. So an extra 20 HP on each of them could be quite significant. And until I'm producing more food, reliably that is, I'm going to hold off on building skirmishes even though I think they would be okay here. So I think the Tatars like to attack quite early, so what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to build a nice extra layer behind that gate, because I think, this is really cheesy, but I think the AI has a harder time deciding to take out walls than it does compared to gates. If it sees a gate, it will just take it out, but uh, if it sees walls, I think that's a little bit more borderline. It's not to say we're safe, but just that the AI might spend a little bit more time considering what to do and uh, you guys need to go and gather some food because we're going to be building farms pretty soon I'm pretty sure. And I had been doing some thinking about whether to recruit camel riders or uh, step lancers and after looking at the tech tree I think that step lancers are the better choice because they literally cost half as much gold which gives us so much more gold to spend on kip checks if we want to. So. I think that's a little bit of a no-brainer. Uh, some of you guys definitely need to go over onto chopping wood. The problem is 55, we're still away off that, so I think we're fine there. Protect our village. Are you guys under attack yet? Not just yet, but these guys have fallen, so... They'll soon be over to attack these, and uh, I don't think this is going to hold out for too long. Let's recruit some units. If my voice sounds a little bit raspy today, um, I do have a cold. I don't know if it's obvious or not, but uh, I picked it up sometime between the Battle of the Kalka River and now, which was uh, unfortunate. Was, uh... Can we save this guy? So you can see they're attacking the gate. What I want to see is do they attack the, the wall behind it, or do they just leave it at the gate? We will soon know. Uh, actually, I think one of these guys is actually shooting the gate, or, or the wall even. But I'm not sure which. Actually put the spawn camp over here and uh, we're doing fairly okay on gold so I think we just wanna throw up a few farms as many as we can. Keep the food production coming, auto reseed the farms and there. Uh, Ah, oh, what? The gate wasn't... Ah, oh, the gate wasn't a proper gate. Okay. Right, I'm going to pull everyone back temporarily to the town centre just to try and hold off this initial way. Actually, no, we don't need to. Everyone go back to work. No problem, we can handle this. Good checks. I don't want you guys to die. Not quite so easily anyway. If they want to hit Kotyan, that's not really a big deal. I think uh, we can take that. We'll get all his health back. Let's clean these out. Everyone back to work. As we're still a way off going to the castle age, let alone putting up an actual castle. <laughs> you guys get back to mining. We'll build a farm. This is another tough one, uh, so these guys are not going to hold out. I think this wave alone will probably finish them off, and then what have we got? Like four units to hold everything off with? And meanwhile we're going to try and put up a castle too? It's pretty difficult. Yeah, he's gone. So, we're pretty much on our own to deal with constant raids. It's, it's kind of similar to the last scenario in a lot of ways, but... Hopefully we'll find a way to make it work. There's a... Uh, we're clearly good to go up to the next stage now. I guess that's how we do it. We get a nice big juicy tribute from the teal player and we're going to spend most of this on trying to get a castle as soon as we go to the next stage. Is, uh, it's going to be tight. Just need a little bit more now. So should you actually go and work on gold? I think you should. Okay, Castle Age is on its way, just gotta hope that if they do show up we can hold them off somehow and in fact, just peace of mind, 
I'm going to... Why does my hockey work anymore? Oh, and wheel up, okay. I'm gonna finish off that wall, just so they can't sneak in again, and uh, we might get attacked from this direct- oh my god. I prefer it if they ignored the outpost and just came straight from my town center because I'm gonna have to use the town center to kill them here. And I'm hoping once we take out this wave, we might buy ourselves just enough time. Okay, temporarily, everyone come back. And we're gonna try and shoot all these down with the town center. Is, uh, is it worth trying to... no attack stance? I don't think so. Let's just keep running around. Gonna have to just keep running around to see anything we can really do. Uh, I think one of these Kipchaks is, is a goner for sure. Um, but we can buy that last bit of stone we need. And uh, please let's finish them off a little bit faster than this. This is not fast enough. I don't know if we're like missing them because we don't have ballistics, but. How are they not dead? Okay. Alright, let's try and pin them out. One, there's one. Alright, kill them all, kill them all. Do we want to try and lure these back? I don't know how many more there are, but yeah, I think we want to kill these off nice and quickly. noble people of the steppes. Our King Bella IV of Hungary has heard of your struggles and offers you refuge in his lands, for God has shown him the fates of our two peoples. The great sky god smiles upon us. We must rally our banners and travel to Hungary, where we will be safe. Ah, uh, crap, they're coming with even more. This is really quite difficult, isn't it? It's, uh... Well, it's not, it's not as bad as the previous scenario, I don't think. I'm gonna actually... Wow, they're actually going that way. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna try and put this up, even though it will mean having to re-micro all my farms, which is always an annoyance. I think we have to do it. And, uh, cut you in. And hopefully hold people off for a little bit. Uh, we're gonna need more houses at some point. In fact, I'm going to let one villager out and... send her to build a few houses. As, uh, I think we can recruit one or two extra units just to help hold these off. The castle's gone up. Okay, that was a lot quicker than I expected. Okay, great. Guys in that, and uh, pull them all in. As we should be firing extra arrows here, so it should go down pretty quickly. I mean, they should go down pretty quickly. We should be fine, as long as they don't come with siege. Which I'm not sure if they will or won't. But, uh... Let's deal with this initial wave. This is a massive waste of our villagers' time. But it's not safe to come out until we've actually dealt with them properly. Try and pull that cover up, cover archer in here. And I think, yeah, cover units can garrison castles, so that's fine. Uh, you guys are actually going to all go back to work. And uh, we're going to need to rearrange these villages, unfortunately. Why is it not giving me the option to ungarrison? There we go. Right, everyone back to work. You guys, I think, should go straight to the gold mining. And uh, is this still up? Yep, they're pretty confused by that. They just they just give up, which is fine. I'm happy with that. And we are going to attempt to wall this back off. This is a little bit further back than I would like. We must flee this place while we still can. Subatai will be here in 40 minutes. Okay, we want lots of Kipchaks. I don't know if we need much else. Step Lancers, maybe? But mostly we just want lots of Kipchaks, which means we want to go for this gold. And I think there's some more gold somewhere else too. We go have a look for it. I think there's some more gold up here. Okay, you're now done. So randomly there is this mining camp here which does give us actual stone we can mine, but uh, I feel like that's so vulnerable to attack that it's kind of ridiculous. And so not really worth going for at all. Right, everyone needs to get back to work. I don't know why you just completely stopped. Double bit axe and... Let's just make sure we have enough production. Okay, that's not good enough. I'm sure there's some more gold up here somewhere. 
we can just find it. So I was expecting a little bit more in terms of raiding. We're doing okay for now, we're not really under attack that much. A couple more Kipchaks on the way, and uh, I think we're going to need a blacksmith too. Okay, so they are going to come through here, hopefully the castle will just handle them totally fine and we won't need to do anything. I don't know why you aren't working. Okay, need another farm. No problem. Alright, keep those coming. I'm gonna spawn over here now. Bring the Kipchak home. And uh, actually. Let's keep all our Kipchaks in the castle. I think that makes sense. It feels like another one of those maps where you feel like maybe you should take advantage of the things the humans do really well, which are a few lage town centers and uh, battering rams, but there's just no need to do that, actually. Better off just doing the usual, throwing up a castle and hoping for the best. Right, let's have a blacksmith, and let's actually get some of those upgrades that we need. Keep the villagers coming too. 36 minutes. It's not 36 real life minutes, it's 36 Age of Empires minutes, which are 70% faster than real life minutes. Worth bearing in mind. So we've got a decent supply of gold now, we mostly just need wood, so let's go and chop some of that. Uh, it's just... Kotyan versus this one cavalry archer, I think he's going to be fine. Let's just finish that off so we don't have to think about it. And keep the economy coming. Not enough wood for farms. That's not good. Okay, we're actually doing fine for food, so let's recruit a couple of step lancers. I'm going to pull Kotyan back just in case he gets sniped somehow. I don't think there's any point walling that up because the AI is probably just going to break through it anyway. Okay, managing to blow through all these resources somehow pretty quickly. Not ideal. The farm, and uh, already lost six precious minutes of that recruitment time. I'm sure we need the gold. I'm sure we do. Could build a couple of camel riders just for the sake of it. Just to help use up the resources we actually need to use up. And let's just keep Kipchaks coming if we can. And if we can't, then any other unit will do. As, uh, we're doing okay for wood now, so let's start getting a few more farms. I'm sure it's best not to build a second town centre, but uh, I feel like I'm only just going to have started getting the economy going when Subutai shows up, which is kind of annoying. Bowsaw, I think, is probably going to be worth it. Don't have much time to make it pay for itself, though. Wait, another knight. No, we don't need knights. A couple more camel riders. As, uh, we're doing fine for gold, clearly, so everyone's going to keep going on to wooden food. Ideally, we'd have the Kipchaks coming in constantly, but that's probably not practical. I don't see why not, though. We could definitely do it if we just balance the economy right, make sure the few of these lumberjacks actually get through, and uh, make sure that no one else ends up working on gold because we're clearly doing fine for that. In the meantime, we're going to produce some camel riders. And uh, we're slowly approaching the pop cap, so let's build a few more houses. Which again costs us our food. Not ideal. Not our food, but our wood. Okay, here we go. Just get in the castle, guys. Castle can handle them all just fine. Gonna save that camel, but never mind. Okay, castle should be able to handle all of this, like, completely fine. It just actually shoots at them. Now ah, the building's full. Okay. That's fine, they don't seem to be coming with siege, and even if they did, I guess uh, we could deal with battering rams and things like that just fine. Everyone's in the 
Castle Age, except Subutai, when he shows up, he's going to be in the Imperial Age and he's going to absolutely wreck us. Okay, anyone who's in low health, we're going to put you back in there. That's you. You guys are going to stand behind the castle, so that if anyone else shows up, hopefully they'll attack the castle first instead of anything else. And, uh, are you still producing? You're not. Let's make sure you do that. Uh, we're doing okay for wood now, which is good. That means we can produce lots more Kipchaks. And uh, I'm not sure how far we need to take this before we actually go and attack. Maybe actually start taking out some of those things with the Kipchaks now. We do outnumber them just fine. Okay, doing a fairly decent job of spending all the resources in roughly equal measure, so... Presumably we are on track in one way or another, even if we're not actually saving any of the five tribes just yet. So I think Subutai is going to come from the east, certainly that makes sense if you consider the, the geography of the situation. Uh, so maybe we should go to the easternmost camp first. On the other hand, this one is like right here. Alright, I want to try and heal up these Kipchaks yeah, actually. Definitely need some of these upgrades. Uh, you keep producing. You keep producing. I don't know if there's much of a point of getting a horse collar, it's kind of borderline. Right. Injured kip checks. Into the castle you go. Need to optimize this quite a lot. Everyone else is fairly healthy, that's good. Uh, we're at the pop limit too, so that's not good, but a sign that we are getting through things okay. Uh, we can get a few upgrades while we're waiting. In fact, some of you guys should build cast uh, not castles, houses too. Okay, what now? Ignore them. We can kill them fine. Okay, we've got quite a force here now. I might actually send these out once everyone's done healing up. Pretty sure I haven't added any more gold miners in absolutely ages now, but somehow still gold is the resource we're doing fine for, and everything else is a little bit of a struggle. Which I think is because step lances are actually surprisingly cheap, and these are actually surprisingly cheap too, just 35 gold for one. I think the competitive community so far does consider the Cumans to be the most imbalanced of the new civs, which might be something to do with that gold cost. Fairly cheap to build some uh, really good units. Don't actually need that much gold for it. But I don't want to speak too soon because we've only got 20 minutes left and uh, Subutai is going to show up. You know what? Better off just attacking these rather than trying to hide away behind the castle. The castle can deal with the cavalry archers though. And uh, let's actually get a university too. Because I want murder holes and there are some other good techs too. Ballistics. Castle will deal with those fine. What can arrow? Okay, we've got quite a force here. I think we might actually be okay to make a move. And uh, since we do have a decent force, I'm going to actually, I'm going to do what I said. I am actually going to go for the the harder looking options first. I think this force should actually be able to handle pretty much everything. Okay. You guys come too. Just be a little bit careful of Kotyan. Don't want him to get killed. Please pay attention. As, uh, that was no problem at all, actually. A few more here. Okay, if we can take every fight like that, that's going to be absolutely fine. We'll deal with them, no problem at all. Alright, keep them coming. 
keep these coming, keep these coming. And uh, let's get a few cover out just since we do have some spare resources. How's this looking? Pull back, try and draw them in. Patrol. Hopefully we've used that to our advantage as yeah, chewing right through these, which is good. On we go. Up a hill here. Is this the sieve that gets the hill bonus? No. One of the new sieves gets an enhanced hill bonus, I can't remember which one it is. Um, okay, before I take that fight I'm going to just build a few houses just so I'm not thinking about it. As we can get ballistics, I'm going to get scale barding armor and uh, I think we need to go and attack. Here we go. What's here? Okay, that's looking very manageable. That's good. But that's half the time gone until he shows up, so... No time for complacency. They've got a Khan. Ranged hero unit, but uh, not too scary. That's fine. Good. Is that it? Just need to take out this last unit, perhaps. Okay, that's grand. If all of them are that easy, I think we can potentially do it with the army we already have, so that's good. Um, might actually be able to take on things over here with just our relatively small force and not have to come back here with the main force later on. Uh, how are you guys doing? Crap. Should have patrolled instead of that, but never mind. Should still be able to take these out. Didn't want to fight them all at the same time, but... Taking out another car on there. We're going to pull back. We're going to try and gather everyone together. Okay, that was relatively easy too. It's not done yet though. Maybe one or two more units to kill off. Yep, that's fine. Is this the last one? No, that's not even the right type of unit. There we go. I guess it's to do with the number of units that are actually there, more so than anything else. Where are we being attacked? I'm not seeing that. Okay. They're raiding the village. I don't really care. Just gonna carry on. If they destroy the Yurts, that's gonna be kind of annoying, but whatever, we can just put down a few more houses. So I think we should actually use these guys to take on next batch, is there, has anyone been distracted by that? Nope. Okay. Uh, we should actually kill these. Getting slowly weaker, but I think we still have enough to take on another village. We take them on bit by bit. Kipchak's doing extremely well, as they always do. Slowly running out of camels and step lances though. Okay, we're being attacked by a significant Mongol force. Um, we're just gonna ignore this. Let the castle deal with it. Keep these coming and back to here. Liberate the next village. Three more to go. I'm not sure where those actually are. We've got a few more units here. Let's go back up. What's left? Okay, so we need to liberate this one, we need to liberate this one, and we need to liberate this one, so that's all actually completely fine. I'm sure the spearman that just came up was grey or something, I'm surprised it existed in a sense. Uh, okay, more archery rangers, not really planning to use these. Getting slightly weaker now, Kotyan's still healthy but need to be a little bit careful. Okay, you guys... Right, we'll wait for the garrison to arrive. Okay, let's go take on the next tribe. Or we'll liberate the next tribe would be slightly more accurate. Oh crap, here we go. 
That's all fine. That's not going to be a problem. Uh, you guys should actually be strong enough to take on this tribe all on your own, I think. We've got two big forces on the go here. Hopefully we can join them together shortly. Not actually that confident in this. I'm going to keep them here and hopefully rely on these guys soon. Watchtowers go down really quickly now. For the HP nerf. Grand. Okay, so we just got this one tribe left to free up and uh, should be able to close in on them from both sides. Deal with them just fine. Putin's in full health, so even if this does go wrong, I think he should survive. Just need to keep an eye on him. Final human tribe to liberate. Looks like it might be the toughest one. Oh, you guys are on stand ground stance, that's not right. Putin's all healthy, so that's good. Alright, let's just finish all this off. Three lots of watchtowers. Not enough gold, okay. So we finally exhausted the gold mines. Uh, I'm not sure what to do about that actually. Uh, we do have some more gold, don't we? Some just here. I think everyone's gonna have to move on to that. Pretty much everyone. Because we're doing fine for everything else, so... Don't really re even need the farmers and the lumberjacks anymore. If we need to produce any units at all, that is. Uh, what's going on over here? More forces showing up. Right, you guys need to be doing this slightly more efficiently. Ten minutes. We have liberated all of the villages. The Hungarians are expecting you, Godin. Okay, can we do it with this force? I I don't know. Okay, let's bring everyone together. Should have got gold mining a long time ago in hindsight, never mind. Got a pretty decent force here. So to complete the scenario, we need to bring Kotyn to the Hungarians, which... How much can there really be between here and here? Hopefully not too much, you would hope. I think this is a decent force. It's not quite as many as I would like. There's quite a force of... Mongols showing up too, unfortunately. Uh, they're gonna focus down our cow archers. Let's at least draw them away and then round off the rest while they're distracted. Okay, a little bit back up here. Can we ignore these Mongols? I don't think we need to fight them. If we don't have to, then I won't. I'm just trying to get to the Hungarians. As, uh, yeah, it couldn't be too simple. Do you have to break through a palisade gate? Takes no time at all, though. I don't think we need to take out the towers. Just make sure Kotyun's okay. He's in the back with the rest of the cavalry archers, so I think he should be fine. Uh, wow. Well, I don't want to fight those at all. Crap, stone gate. Oh man, and an onager, and it got a shot off. Okay, take that thing out. Seriously, take that thing out as a matter of priority. There we go. This looks really bad, actually. Completely surrounded. Oh man, this looks really terrible. Hang on, Kotyun. Crap, need to run away. Okay, that went really bad. And we've only got five minutes until Subutai shows up. Kotyun at least is in mostly full health. Okay, fine. So what do we need to take that on? I think we need 
Step Lancers, uh, Kipchaks, and let's get some stables too. Okay, I'm gonna build up an army and then I'm gonna have another go, uh, assuming that these guys make it back okay, which I, I think they should. Okay, Super Tide's about to show up. Uh, we've got a force of 60 cavalry here though, so I'm, I'm hoping we're gonna be all good, uh, actually. My horde is here to end your Sell miserable me. life once and for all! Definitely need to bring Kotian himself as a, a bare minimum. Right, I'm gonna try and run through most of this and hopefully not fight all of it. Uh, we should be able to just run past most of these just fine. Do we want to leave these units behind? Probably not. We're gonna need everything we can get. Or well, possibly not. There weren't that many units there and I, I think most of them have now moved on to taking on this town center. So we're just gonna try and ignore pretty much all of them. And these few stragglers chasing us down, likewise, just gonna ignore them. Force of 60 cavalry, you would think, should be able to break through a few units that are here. I don't know how much it takes to actually break through these reinforced palisade walls, uh, but we will need to try and do that at some point. I can't remember if we killed the Onager or not. I think we did, so it should be very much doable now as uh, presumably this is Subatai's Horde. I'm just gonna pull back and uh, try and hold that off for as long as possible, but hopefully it's not relevant. I think we just need to get caught into the, the final objective here. Right, let the Step Lancers handle those. Pretty much all step lancers because I produced so many extra stables and uh, didn't produce any extra castles or archery ranges or anything like that. So it's a big force of step lancers here, and step lancers are of course extremely good. And uh, that is not the gate we have to break through. This is the gate we have to break through, unless we can sneak through, which doesn't look like it's going to happen. But uh, potentially I've actually overdone this because that is really not as hard to break through as I expected, and literally we can just ride straight through it. So. All 60 have survived. Do we need to fight these? Do we just ride on? This is cool. What's this? I wonder. And that is it. We have completed the scenario. Although our people numbered up to 40,000 men, women, and children, the Hungarian king welcomed us with open arms. Hungarians and Cumans greeted each other amicably, and festivities ensued for days. Our leaders were baptized by the Hungarian priests, and many of our people followed their example. When the festivities end, we will settle in the Hungarian valleys, set up our yurts there, and send our herds out to the fields. Everything seems to be better now. Still, we should not get too comfortable with the Mongol army converging on the Hungarian border. Our horsemen will help the Hungarians defend their lands, but we are not the only ones who have come to their aid. Duke Frederick of Austria, an old rival of King Bela, has come to Hungary with a company of heavy armored German knights. We are suspicious of these strangers, but there is no time for internal squabbling, not in such dire times. There we go, that is scenario 3 of the Kotyan Khan campaign completed. As always, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it. Do join me next time when we will be doing scenario 4, of course. And once again, I do apologize for my uh, slightly raspy voice. I, I'm not feeling too great, but yeah. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.